But okay, so um, first things first. This was uh, this was supposed to be another season of. <laughs> okay. Should we just stop uh, again? take two? In audio. Quick story. This was supposed to be another season relaunching in 2024 of Bring Coffee, Let's Chat. Mm -hmm. And then one day, uh, Georgia came to me and said, "Hey, I'm thinking about, or I want, I want to, I want to do, I want to do the podcast with you." When she said that, I was like, "Wow, okay, let's 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 begin the creative process of it." Um, and then we originally again we're going to it was just going to be bring coffee let's chat season it would have been what season, season three. three season three yeah and then um but i think we just decided to start with a clean slate rebrand rebrand everything fresh. you know start fresh mm -hmm. but it was funny because she you know we were coming up with a name and she's like you know what why don't we just like give homage to <laughs> bring coffee let's chat um do you remember saying that no, All right, I you, thought you said that. You asked me what was the word, and I said you were like home, home, home it, and I was uh, like, I was like home, homage yeah, right. or homage. Some people say homage or homage. Yeah. Um, because yeah. at at first I think we were trying to fit for the name at least. Wait, we haven't even said what the name is of the podcast. We're getting there. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, okay, my bad. <laughs> um, so at first, what we were trying to think of like us mm -hmm. so obviously we're clearly interracial we're clearly from different countries yeah we love coffee love coffee yeah so we were trying to like find something that kind of integrated all of those things mm -hmm. but they didn't yeah you couldn't I mean, really put them all together yeah. without it being like uncomfortable you, you, <laughs> you came up with uh the blend i came up with the blend I, I, at I, first we it was vibe but then mm. we were like no that's not it because i was like blend we're it's, blended yeah i mean many there's, ways, there's coffee, coffee blends, blends and yeah. stuff like that but but the, then it just yeah. felt stale after yeah, it was repeating just, it a yeah lot. <laughs> yeah no that's true and then what was the one that you came up with that was just so so trash i said uh wow so trash um i said uh something about beans blended beans the word beans was in it and i was like paris we cannot have a podcast with the word beans yeah it was like um blended beans mixed beans mix, oh mixed, mixed beans. beans or something and I was like, <laughs> um mixed beans and then there that. was order for two okay order for two that that was that a close a, second you know close second. Ring to it. yeah um and then you you blurted out no no it the what oh, I said, uh, I had this big um, revelation. Revelation. I was like, "Where's my coffee?" Yeah. And that kind of it was like okay. It was kind of a vibe. And then I think we woke up the next morning. And, mm. No, this I'm was all in one. This it was, was all in one sitting. It was all in one sitting. Okay, Wait, so was it all in one? Sitting? I don't think it was. It was like a two day process. A this was a two day a process of. Trying to figure out the name, but with all that being said, welcome to our first episode of Where's My Coffee podcast. Um, I'm Paris. I'm Georgia. Um, and we said we weren't gonna do that. Yeah, we weren't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we called it with our names, but hey, we're here. This is who we are. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> Paris, you'll find out is the corny human. Yeah, being. I, that's corny is my middle name. Yes, hundred percent. But, but she loves me for it. Awesome. All right. Right. So we are in the new year, 2024. Mm -hmm. Second of January today, actually. Yeah, Don't know yeah. when this is going up, but yeah. today is January 2nd. And that, that, I mean, this was our goal to to launch the podcast this mm -hmm. year. So took a lot of planning, created oh, this yeah. set. Oh yeah, guys, she created this whole this whole set. I mean, and that was the beauty of her coming to me and saying, "Hey, let's do something together," because I know, like just her creative ability and just where she can go creatively is, mm -hmm. is, you know, it excites me. Yeah. Sure. This, I mean, this was awesome. So yeah, babe, where, where, where are we starting? Um, I guess looking back at 2023 yeah. highlights. Yeah. What was personal, that? professional, mm -hmm. emotional? I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what are some highlights? Um, spill the beans. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I think that's it right there. No, please no. Okay, that's not yeah. a segment. Okay, maybe. Um, so like, like I was kind of mentioning to you in the the car the other night, like 2022 and 2023 blend. Here we go, blend. Kind of blended together for me. Um, mm-hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, it's weird. But anyway, 2023. Um, I would say a highlight for me was getting cast for for uh, Gotham Knights. Mm. Um, I think to honestly, yeah. sorry to cut you off. One of my favorite roles you've been in so far. Um, I think to the to date, that's probably my biggest role, as far as character is concerned. I th- you know, think so. Yeah, like I think so. The I at least the most like um, screen time. Yeah. So uh, no, like words on the screen. Yeah, because like because your your character had a pivotal reason for being there it like i yeah. feel like some of your characters were pivotal but somewhat filler a lot of my characters were were it was like oh we seen them great you yeah. served this purpose congratulations cool. you Con- made it yeah <laughs> this one felt like it could be something is he coming like yeah. is this character we're gonna see this character again and that's um i mean of course it, for those who don't know what we're talking about gotham knights was a dc show um, that came out this year on uh, CW. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't based off of. Um, it, it it was kind of. Um, shoot, how can I how can I say this? It was basically like the generation after Batman. Um, but anyway, my character plays a the son of Bruce Wayne's lawyer. Um, if that makes it, yeah. I, yeah, the son of yeah. Bruce Wayne's lawyer. The yes. son of Bruce Wayne's lawyer. Yeah. Um, and it was funny because when I got the audition, I didn't know what I was auditioning for. Mm, that's right. But it was a four-page audition. Mm-hmm. Um, and I still didn't know what purpose the, the character served in the show. Um, but it wasn't until my wardrobe fitting which was a couple of days before mm, my shoot date. I remember this. Yes, yes, yes. I was in the car. I was just like, hey, I'm here pretty early. I'll just reread the script, you know, to get yeah. inspiration again. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm reading. Oh, no, they sent me. When I'm call in the parking sheet. lot, they sent me, along with the call sheet, an updated script. Mm. So I'm rereading the script. I'm reading the, the updated script. And my character says, it's out. So I guess I, I, I'm a I, character says, uh, wait. You're Bruce Wayne's kid. Mm. And I'm like, hang on a second. <laughs> wait, a, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Because I knew the show was Gotham Knights, but like, I didn't know my character would have any close relation with mm-hmm. Batman, with, oh, with Bruce Wayne. Oh, to move the yeah, story along. You know, um, so I'm reading this and I'm, wait, you're Bruce Wayne's kid. I'm like, because in the script, it had said something else. It had said something like, uh, wait, you're... Uh, Brett. It said like a random name. Yeah, like random name. name. Yeah, random name. So I'm in the car ecstatic. I think I called you and said, mm. whoa, you know. Um, and yeah, so then, I mean, the the, the shoot uh, was, was super fun. The cast were great. It was just awesome, you know, talking to the cast members, talking to the writer actually came up and had some uh, humbling words, um, the director. And I was talking to, to the uh, costume designer, and she even had said, you know, we're going to put in the universe that your character is going to come back, mm-hmm. you know? And um, some of the cast even had said, like, it, it makes sense that you would return. It makes sense that your character uh, would return. And, and it, I mean, it, it was just such a great um, experience hearing that, because I, I haven't had a reoccurring role. You know, that's a goal. A season regular uh, role is definitely the goal, too. I've always had episodic um, roles that had one episode, Mm -hmm. that would appear in one episode. So, um, and then it was a couple months later, I got an email from my agent that I had been pinned for another episode. <laughs> so yeah, that was um a uh, uh, long story short. Um unfortunately, I my character didn't appear in uh 
that episode. That episode, <laughs> you know, um, because show business. Uh, yeah, show business and just learning like the process. You know, sometimes not everything is guaranteed mm-hmm. within this industry. Um, so yeah, I'm long winded, but yeah, that's one of my highlights of of 2023. T- t- how many minutes later? Yeah, sorry. Uh, how about you? You just the one. We can go back and forth. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first one that comes to mind would be honestly, I would say our trip to Australia. Okay. So yeah. this year, I didn't think I was going to be able to go back home at all because mm. of my visa situation. I was kind of in like a uh, expired green card pending status and waiting paperwork, and it was a whole ordeal. But I was able to go back for two weddings, my good friend yeah. Lara, and then my sister Monique. Lara. La- <laughs> so <laughs> the way I say Lara, Paris thinks I'm saying Laura. Laura, yeah. And they are very different. Are one different. has a U and one doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, so Lara. Shout um, out to Lara. So, <laughs> shout out to Lara. So yeah, I was able to go. I think that tri- the first trip was in May and it was just me mm-hmm. and it was the quickest trip of my life. I think I was there for like a week right? on land in Australia. No, not even that long. I was only there for like four days on land and then traveling like Uh, back and front. So like the week total away from America, but actually on land for four days Yeah, because traveling is like 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Um, But mostly was our three week trip for my sister's wedding in September. In September. Mm -hmm. Um, We, because it was your second time there, second I time. felt like we didn't need to do super touristy things. Mm-hmm. So we were able to like kind of just like live in, live, like live. Yeah, yeah. Um, without having to like go everywhere and anywhere. Don't oh, we... hey, let's go here. Yeah, yeah, let's see the mm-hmm. Harbour Bridge. Let's see all the tourist attractions. Because mm-hmm. I feel like it's essential to do, but yeah. you don't need to repeat it every single time We did go. all that in 2019. Yes. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And also that time as well when you saw it. Um, Australia was going through all the the fires, mm-hmm. so it was really smoky, and the conditions were just like Australia wasn't seen in the best light right, for right. you. Yeah, so it was nice going back when it was like really great weather conditions. It was meant to be, <clears throat> it was meant to be like winter going into summer, and it literally felt like the peak of summer. Yeah, yeah, like sweating. We were at the beach, the we sand jet was skiing. Hot. That was definitely a moment of like, dang. I've got a good country. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it felt long enough to not feel rushed because we yeah. went to go to Melbourne as well during that time. Yeah, and that was that was definitely to go fun visit as my well. Best friend in the show. Yeah, shout so, out to yeah. Brit. Shout out to Brit as well. Um, so, so yeah, we were able to do a lot, but yeah. not touristy. So I yeah. felt like you were able to see what Australia is like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like locally about. Yeah, yeah, that that was cool. It was tough coming back. I mean. That yeah, was, that was heartbreak. <laughs> yes, yes. Back, I think what the was it the morning after we sat on the balcony just like because we were jet lagged. Yeah, we woke up at like five a.m. or something in the morning and we mm-hmm. sat a coffee. Was I, on the balcony I I, I contemplating. Yeah. yeah, like I, I just <laughs> like what are we doing? Yeah, like it, it was. I was telling Georgia that like it started to feel. I I started to see what life could be like. Mm-hmm. over there i think because of how long we were there for um yeah and then I, I met more of your family yeah <clears throat> met more of your family as well extended family yeah and you know and it just felt i don't know it just felt right mm-hmm. it felt right um a second highlight would have been yeah i, th- I think it would oh you know what not a highlight i would say uh, you would say a low light a low light. We can get into those. Come on, give me some more highlights. You got to have uh, more than one highlight. Um, Australia too. I mean, it can. Well, it yeah, can you also just be Australia. yeah, I, I yeah, definitely Australia again. Yeah. Um. Like like I said, just being over there for the time that we were mm-hmm. three weeks, um, going to Melbourne, uh, going to see two Broadway shows, mm-hmm. um, was awesome. Um, our well. Now my sister-in-law, uh, <laughs> Britt, she is in Moulin Rouge. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's funny because that's your favorite or one of your favorite mm-hmm. uh, movies. Yeah. And I didn't like the movie. I don't even think I watched it all. No. Uh, it, it just wasn't for me. But 
the Broadway adaptation mm. was amazing. Yeah. Was Actually, amazing. she just celebrated her 100th show recently. Oh, congratulations, Brent. Yeah, 100 shows. Oh, that's so awesome. That's yeah. so awesome. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, Melbourne was, was very nice, too. It, it mm-hmm. reminded me of um, like a like a New York you I could would see that. Could you, could you say yeah. New York? Yeah, yeah. Especially, I mean, Britt had us walking all, all around the city. Oh my god! You want to let's? <laughs> so okay, we get there. <laughs> we get there, right? And we already had to. Um, I think we're from her place in the city. The hotel or the Airbnb that we were staying at yeah. was right around the corner. Every don't get me wrong. Everything was in really close quarters. But everything, Depending on who you ask. Well, no, but <laughs> that's true. But everything also was just like, nothing was like a, like a five or six minute walk. It was all like a 10 and up. But, which is fine. It's, but the no, pace, it's it was it was the pace. We, <laughs> Lara was with us as well. And the pace that Britt walked was like, we, you know the power walk is that, like the pace she was walking, we were just like knackered yeah. after like, walking anywhere it got to the point where we would drop her off at the theater and the three of us would just be like okay what do we go do like let's go explore yeah and we we're like do you just want to like go back to the Airbnb and like chill because we were so exhausted from just walking so much we get it was okay so funny. from my perspective yes <laughs> we get to our our airbnb and then we check in and then we go meet her mm-hmm. on the corner somewhere yeah which i think that's like a 20 minute walk not no, it was it was down the street. Oh, that where corner. we were meeting. Yes, her. yes, yes, and that was like the midway point of her actual apartment. To and us. we were going to go get food before before her, her show, off right? Show. Yeah. So we just we meet her, and then we start walking. Mm-hmm. To them, what may have seemed like we were walking for it like ten minutes turned to twenty, twenty turned to thirty. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that long. It felt like I'm like Brit. Where are we going? Yeah, and she just was like, <laughs> she, yeah, like, she this was is on a mission. Route. Like she was, she just started walking, and we're trailing, and it <laughs> does it every day. But after a while, it just I'm like, yeah. oh my goodness, where are we, we going? We would always you know? catch the lift back. Yeah, like I said, Uber rides back. I, I told we Georgia, I said, I, I don't know how many of these walks I can do because it. I mean, it it was <laughs> it would a be walk, fit. but it was it was good to see the was, city. That yeah, way. It, the scenic. You know the the visual mm-hmm. beauty of of Melbourne mm-hmm. was great to see for sure. Yeah, like, and Momo's wedding was beautiful. Oh yeah, that's all included. Yeah, that's all included. Minus yeah. the fact that I became a florist um, <laughs> for her wedding, <laughs> literal <laughs> literal florist, <laughs> like creating yeah. the what are those things called? Those, the boutonnieres? No. The bouquet. No. What's one of the things that the guys put in their pockets? Wait, is bouquet not the bouquet? Is what the women hold? Okay. Okay. Cool. I got that right. Whatever um, the, the things that people put in the pocket. I can't remember what they're sag. called. No. Anyway. Okay. Whatever those things are called. Making yeah. those, making the, the flower arrangements on the tables. Mm. Like, actually crazy. Actually yeah. crazy. But it was fun. Yeah. It was intense. But it was fun. Now I can look back and it was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, My second highlight for the year would be getting back into fitness. Mm. I yes. felt like yeah. what? talk about it 2020 i feel like everyone had a moment of like what what the hell (laughs) with covid you know what i mean like what 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 are we doing who am i yeah what is my purpose in life yeah energy i had a massive one of those changed careers the whole shebang stopped dancing haven't been in a dance studio since 2020 Mm. um but because of that means i hadn't really done any fitness at all Got it, got it, yeah, that's true. You haven't, yeah. <laughs> Your response just now yeah, no, acted I, as if you didn't know Well, already. that's, you know, that's the beauty of podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you caught me off guard. Yeah, anyway, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I hadn't been in um, any sort of fitness at all. Because I've, I've worked, now that I am in fitness, and I, I started at F45 February, mm-hmm. and I've been going, pre- like, honestly, every least, week. Four to five four times to five a, week a week since yeah. February. The only breaks I've had since I started was when we went to my two Australian trips. And then over Thanksgiving, New Year, Christmas, I've kind of like done what I have what I could do during mm-hmm. that time based mm-hmm. on availability. And then also for some reason I've been really 
busy with work. Mm. Um, but yeah, four to five days every week, loving it. I, I've worked out that I need a class environment to work out in. I wasn't able to work out at the gym. I knew what I needed to do, but I didn't have like, I guess you could say it's discipline or maybe the determination to like actually like go to the gym by myself, tell myself that I need to do this workout and stay on routine. I mean, sure. Uh, discipline. I mean, you I have to have discipline to is. even get up and go to class. Well, no, I know, I, but like <clears throat> the, the, I had the discipline to go to the class because right. it's a class setting. It like, I think it brought I me back that, to my roots of like, since the uh, age of three, I've always had like dance. a schedule of like, here's a class. This is what I need to do. Got this you. is the time it's at. Yeah. Show up, do the work, mm-hmm. and then you leave. That's I, And I yeah, think that that's sense. just so ingrained in me that, mm-hmm. like, I don't know how else to do it. Yeah. So. Because even when I would ask you, like, why don't you just get a personal trainer? or <laughs> Even that. like <laughs> You the, even asked me, he's like, you want to train me? I'm like, I don't know. What yeah. the... <laughs> I don't know. So, I yeah. anyway, I, f- I figured out my thing that I, that I need to do to keep it as like a habit and mm-hmm. i feel like it's completely a habit now like yeah it's not even a question of like oh am i going to go to the gym yeah. this week it's like oh how can i fit it in my schedule and i just do it yeah and so that i've loved the transformation for me like body mind mm-hmm. emotional image yeah all of that sort of stuff so and I, I, like i like I, I can tell that you love it Mm. like you love getting up and going to the gym Mm -hmm. or going to class or whatever you want to name it like and that's that's important too because it it seems like it's something that's definitely fulfilling you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and that's that's the difference Mm -hmm. you know i see that it's something that you enjoy doing and it's something that's fulfilling you yeah you know yeah and as as like something i was kind of trying to tell you like before when you were, I guess, dealing with, you know, some self-image, body mm-hmm. image type things and, you know, just getting you to keep in mind that you were once an athlete. Yeah. Like you, you were dancing every single mm-hmm. day, like, you know, from college to the time when you were out teaching mm-hmm. classes, you were teaching classes every single day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, your body, I mean, you were the you were su- <laughs> moving when you uh found those those jeans and pants that you used to oh my wear gosh. like <laughs> so i know this is probably a little toxic but it got to the point where the jeans that i was wearing in college no longer fit me like at not even in the slightest you know how sometimes you can still make it work mm-hmm. didn't fit me at all but i would i kept them and put them under the bed because i was like mm, one day maybe if i lose weight again <laughs> like i'll fit into them yeah so i had those pants and then I bought new pants to fit my new body, but then those pants got too big ever since I started at 45. Mm. And so then I got another set of pants and now those pants are also too big. So I was like, Ooh, let me see if I can fit into like phase two set of pants, (laughs) which some of them I do, but then I looked at phase one. Oh, when I tell you, yeah, the people watching visually, the what, this, yeah, like not the even the waist no lie. was this yeah. big. Like I, it was like, did I even hit puberty? That, yet? Yeah, it was. Is like that it even was possible, crazy. you know. Like, and like it's, yeah. I think for me as well, I look back at that time and I was like, I didn't think I was like <laughs> that small. Yeah. So the fact that like I'm looking at those jeans and I'm like, that looks like an infant mm. fitted into those. So yeah. I finally departed. Phase one jeans, phase two jeans. Some of them fit. I threw some of them away because they're just like in poor condition and nobody yeah. needs those. And then I've donated some, but some of them have been entered back <coughs> in my wardrobe. But now the the new ones I've just bought don't fit me, so now I have to go for another cycle. And I just it's it's expensive. Yeah, the the, the things women deal with, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. that was a bit of a tangent. Yeah, but yes. I mean, w- w- hearing you uh, share your you know your experience and highlights, I totally forgot that 2023 was the year that I've was on the big screen twice. Mm. Honk for Jesus and Blue Beetle. Like that was... Regard- Three times. Oh, wait. Was Molly Singer on the big screen? Molly Singer was select theaters. Select theaters. Yeah, select theaters. So three it, times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three, three times. times. Yeah. And two of the times we got to see it with my family. 
Yeah. That was kind of fun Yeah, too. that was fun to see. So we it. went to yeah. the theaters with my family in Australia to see Blue yeah. Beetle. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, that was. And then. So yeah, that was a highlight. And A Hunk for Jesus, I mean, that was the first like big screen moment. Yeah. Um, uh, Not to doom and gloom. Yeah. But <laughs> doom and gloom. any low lights you want to bring up? Oh my gosh, you know what I'm going to hate in the what? video? The freaking stickers are still on oh, those they... cups. Yikes. I got to take them off. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. So. Continue. Low lights. So when you, um, June, May, June. So I think when you came back from Australia, right when I picked you up from the airport, mm -hmm. we went to McDonald's. Oh. Um, went to McDonald's and I was, I got, I was eating chicken nuggets. Oh, and I was chewing, I was chewing, oh, I, I was chewing the food and, and, the right side of my mouth just felt kind of weird. Like my tooth, it just felt weird. It was a weird sensation. And I, I was like, all right, whatever. Maybe mm -hmm. I got something stuck in it. Because I, when we got home, I immediately started flossing. Mm -hmm. um, and I flossed. And, okay, so I guess you guys need you more of a backstory. A bit, yeah. Okay. So the year prior. Um, you had a root canal. Yeah. Uh, yes, I had a root canal. Mm -hmm. For those of you who have root canals, you know that. That's not a fun process. Um, I had gotten a root canal and I got a cap put on. Mm -hmm. Okay, now fast forward. But, okay, backtrack. Again, the, the dentist was showing me how to floss. Mm. And I think she showed me her way of flossing. Because mm -hmm. not it, news to me, not everyone flosses this way. Where you put the floss in your tooth and you kind of dig and then pull up. If that makes any sense. Because I had I had gingivitis. It it may gingivitis, yeah, gingivitis. It may make sense, but at the same time, you were so anal with your flossing, yeah, that that's true. you could literally <clears throat> rip out every single one of your teeth because yeah. you're so anal about flossing. I, I think there's so a condition. Let, let's just put that. Okay, I I like strong little, arm a lot. Yes, I just strong arm things a lot. Yes. Um. So fast forward, got back home. I started flossing, and. I flossed in between the tooth, my root canal tooth and, you know, my, my real tooth. And I dug, came back out and the cap came off. And you ever had a moment where something happens and you're not so much your Holy life flashes. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> not so much your life flashes before your eyes, but you're just like, this can't be happening. What just happened? Yeah. Yeah. My tooth came out. <laughs> and I think you were like. Did your tooth go or <laughs> something? Was, my brain wasn't processing what happened. <laughs> yeah. And I instantly start panicking. Mm. I'm like, you, what? You what? instantly thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to get an infection because yeah. it's now exposed. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So we, we got you into a, sorry, I'm got, fast, fast forward story. Fast forward, yes. I'm long with we, you. Yes, yeah. very long with <laughs> Sorry. We got you into the doctor, uh, the dentist pretty quickly. Thank I think God. the two days later, yeah. No, the day after. Oh yeah, it was two yeah, days later. Yeah. Um, And they exposed that the whole time that cap was on i guess there was a gap in it uh, decay, so it was yeah. there was the ability for stuff to get inside and decay and yeah, so if anything the popping off was probably needed so that Blessing it could be exposed yeah. so then they had to clean all that up and then they ended up having to take out the tooth completely so i'm in the dentist chair <laughs> and they do they have to do all of these x-rays now so mm -hmm. they have to put the thing because it's a new dentist mm -hmm. and when that happens they need to get an idea of what your the foundation yeah the foundation you know mm -hmm. um so after that the the surgeon comes in and um he says you know i hate to deliver bad news you know i hate when i have to do this and i'm just like what is he about to tell me yeah and he's like so if you look at the x-ray where you know, your former uh, uh, root canal was, there was some buildup, some mm. decay, you know. Um, so we actually have to take that out. Mm. have to take the old tooth out. Mm -hmm. We have to get rid of it. Mm. And I'm like, cool. And we have to take that decay out. Mm -hmm. and he was like, you know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. And I'm like, okay, where's... So I asked him, I said, you keep talking about bad news. What do you have something else? Is there, <laughs> am I like, there's a disease? Yeah. Like what's going on? He was like, Oh no, we just, yeah, we just have to, you, you just lost a tooth. Yeah. And, and I'm like, Oh yeah. That is all one yeah, all the way back here. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You know, do what you got to do. So it, it was kind of conf like news to me because it was like, uh, 
I had thought they had already taken care of that in my at the last dentist. Mm. You know, when they got the root canal, I thought I thought they had you know cleaned up. So I was like, where did the decay come from? Mm. And he said, well, there was a gap. Between and I the think cap. because of my flossing, you made the gap. Bigger. I made the gap bigger, and I kept going. You know, so hacking it, at it. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> um. So the story does not end there. No. That was. This was you know, what, probably like a six month saga. Realistically, I, I say three your, month, three month saga. You think? Three months is a long okay, time. Okay. Yeah. Though. Three. It was like three. Okay. Three months. Yeah. It felt like longer. Yeah, it felt longer. Um, because it was from you got back what in the beginning of June. And mm-hmm. this ended August. Yeah. You know, um, and so they had, he said, we, we're going to have to put a, we have to shave down your other surrounding teeth mm. and we got to put a temporary bridge on it. And that was his bad news. But I'm like, dude, it, that's okay. It's well, because I think for anyone, realistically, it means that two other teeth have to be affected affected by yeah, true. an operation yeah that's oh, true i don't know if it's an operation but <clears throat> yeah, operation. affected by it so yeah. it's like we, we could get rid of one and then affect two others yeah and that's then true. cap both cap yeah. two plus put a fake yeah so basically now you've got three fakes pretty much basically um so he put the bridge on the temporary bridge and he said we're gonna have you're gonna have to come back in what two or three weeks mm-hmm. um so then we can put the real a uh, uh, mold on the it. permanent permanent bridge yeah. so he said when you leave here don't eat anything uh don't drink anything don't, don't, don't like suck don't, anything don't. pause <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah don't do any of that don't uh um but as soon as we leave i think we go to um Publix to get Publix. your medication medication your... yeah and then i get water yep and I was I was bleeding a lot. Yeah. But I I drank the water and I like. And he went. He swished around. Swished around. Spat out. He spat out. Did all the things he wasn't supposed was, to do. Wasn't supposed to do. And then that caused. Long story short, that caused, um, dry. What was it? Uh, dry, dry socketing because the the clotting yeah. dislodged. Yeah. So it dry socketed. And if you ever dry socketed, for those of you who haven't had this before. It's one of the most painful things that you can. Well, the crazy endure. thing is, it was it wasn't even just the dry socketing because you remember you also had the nerve still there. Oh so yeah, you had, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Because of them, basically, they ended up having to take out the root canal tooth mm. and put the bridge. I don't even know how it works, but basically, the root canal tooth that was decaying is completely out. Yeah. But it meant that the next two tooth teeth um no 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 the, oh. the tooth next to it oh, okay. one of the nerves was now kind of exposed kind of exposed because it was in the way my te- yeah, teeth are it positioned. was kind of yeah. exposed so not only did you have dry socketing but you had a slightly exposed nerves. nerve yeah so they after the dry socketing kind of healed then mm-hmm. they had to take out that nerve i had to go back three different times so technically times. you had another root canal in a way if they yeah. took out well, that nerve so technically because he and, and the doctor had said like so after I dry socketed, I called them back and I said, mm. I'm still experiencing pain Something's after a week. Okay. What's going on? Yeah. He said, you know what? Let's bring you back. Yeah. Let's take off the, the bridge. I'll clean it out mm-hmm. and then put you put it back on. Uh, increase your medication or give you more medication mm-hmm. and then go about your way. Yeah. So we did that. Yeah. <clears throat> and when they t- took it off. Mm. One of the doctors tried, dentists tried to take it off without even numbing me. Mm. And I guess it was hard for her to do it. And I was like, can we please numb me up before you even yeah. attempt to do this? Because it, it's Because that painful. was when your nerve was still there yeah. too. So it was so intense. So I'm in pain. Like I'm literally in pain where like you're, everything just constricts. Corals. Like you just, you know. Um, and then the the head doctor came in and he was like okay, I think this is why you're, you keep experiencing pain. Cause like, I don't, he was just like, there's no reason. Yeah. There's no reason why you should still be experiencing pain after what, two yeah. weeks, you know, he was like, okay. He showed me the x-ray again. He was like, I was trying to avoid doing this. Mm-hmm. He said, I didn't think the nerve would, would keep, you know, getting ex- exposed mm-hmm. or whatever he said, but he said, all right, we're, I'm going to have to take that nerve out. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah. So and that was on the other tooth. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. So I said, when can we get this done? I said, because I'm I'm really kind of tired of coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I admit, the first this, comeback this was, like was my the fault. Time? This was yeah. Fourth this time. and um, guys, I was on ibuprofen, 800 milligram. You he was for taking three, one a day. Yeah, literally. Yeah, one a day for, for three about, weeks straight. Yeah, and for about a month. Yeah, it got it got to the point that I was getting concerned that like you're going to start forming like stomach ulcers yeah. and like larger problems but it was you were in so much pain that it was just like what do you do yeah i like Ugh. my mom says I wish all the time nobody that, like, to go through that yeah she says my mom said that she would give birth 10 times over than to go through any sort of mouth or tooth issue mouth ever pain is the worst pain the worst pain yeah touch wood um okay yeah. Sorry, this is a really so yeah, that was a, sorry guys. That was that was the low light of 2023. This is but, more of a wait. Th okay, this is ahead, more of a. Ahead, I need a little quick little side note. Okay, is it touch wood or knock on wood? Knock on wood. For my my the life of me keeps thinking it's touch on wood, and now I say it too often that I don't yeah. think it's real. And I told myself, oh, it's an Australian thing, and now I'm like maybe it's not an Australian thing, and I've just gotten the phrase wrong. So I don't know. Yeah, anyway, I think knock, it's on knock on wood, wood. touch Here on wood. Here in America, it's knock on wood. Anyway, yeah. um, so yeah, I lost like. Oh my god, so 20 much pounds. Because you couldn't, that was the other oh, thing. Oh yeah, you couldn't, couldn't eat, eat anything. Well, and also he's, Paris is very anxious <laughs> and stresses out on a lot of things. So he was even just nervous. Still to this day, I feel like you <laughs> maneuver the <laughs> yeah. food around. Because he just like doesn't <laughs> want that side of his mouth to get affected again. Yeah. So he would, he was only eating liquids for like for, for two months almost. Two months, yeah. This was a three months. And then would only process, eat yeah. on one side, yeah. barely ate. Still to this day, when I chew gum, like I came home the other day and I was about to film an audition and I felt, and I had, I was chewing gum all day, mm. but only on the left side. His muscle. So when I came back home, out. yeah, my, I guess muscle was just mm -hmm. overused. So you could tell like one side of my face was kind of larger than the other. I was like, you got to start yeah. chewing on both sides. Otherwise <laughs> yeah. you're going to have an all upside of face, my yeah. guy. So, um, low, yeah. low light for Low you. light for me. I feel like I had an idea of my low light, but now I can't 2023 was a pretty high year for you, though. I mean, I think I'll, I guess maybe, I mean, I don't even, I don't know. I'm one to just, like, not let, like, negative things, like, weigh on me at all. That's true. So I it's mean, just, like, if something bad does happen, I know that, like, it's just, like, a bleep in the universe, it's, so it's, it's gone. temporary. Yeah. And that's the difference between... <laughs> Yeah. Her and I is like she's she's able to just let things kind of roll off her, yeah, her shoulder. Which maybe isn't always the healthiest. I would okay, I would say a low light would be the stresses of not knowing whether or not I could actually leave the country or not. Oh yeah. With, with my visa. That was <clears throat> that was stressful because I was like on such a limbo effect of like we we did our anniversary trip the prior year and we mm, left out into yeah. Mexico. I thought I had the paperwork to come back into the country. Apparently, I didn't. Thank God I had a nice custom officer yeah. because he let me in. He's like, "Oh, expired visa, not with the correct paperwork. It's okay, come through." Yeah. But that could have been that could have gone. That could have been bad. Completely different direction. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so I was in I was in limbo of like, oh my gosh, there's two weddings this year. I don't even know if I can get come back to the country. Mm, yeah. Um. But you you had gotten your paperwork. I got my paperwork, pro the the first trip I did in May, I got my paperwork three weeks before yeah. the wedding. And thank God there was a red hot deal on tickets and I got yeah. them for like half price, booked it then and there. Like it, it worked out. And you surprised your, your family. I, oh yeah, I surprised yeah. My, my family. Um, my oldest sister was the only one that knew I was coming. It was a good surprise. I had no idea. Literally probably almost gave my mother a heart attack. Yeah. Um, because the last time you saw them was 2019. 2019, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was three to four years. Yeah. No. Three and yeah. a half. Three and a half. Three and a yeah. half, yeah. So I, I would say that was a little <clears throat> like, because it was, it was stressful. Yeah, yeah. Because I was, was getting very frustrated. Yeah. And there was nothing I could do. Well, there was stuff I could do, but it was like still somewhat out of my control. Yeah. I mean... If dad is listening, he would say, He'll say, apply for my citizenship you, and pro it will, yeah. what is it? It would expedite your processing, yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I guess another low light is I just got paperwork saying that they need more information. Proof of our marriage. But that's, I guess that's a 2024 issue. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. What's next? Yeah. So then that means I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Um, oh, you wow. might discuss. I've got three for you. You got three for me. Three for you. Well, three, three for us, but okay. I must tell you the three. Okay. I know what they are. You don't know what they are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, kind of along the lines of, is this normal? Mm. Like, would you okay. do this? Okay. Okay. That. So we're a little crazy. <laughs> okay. I'm, but I'm, I think I'm it'll spark some good conversation. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Reclining your seat on a domestic flight. Would I normal? Is it normal? Yes. Reclining your seat on a domestic flight. Yeah, I do that. No, like you, no worries about the people behind you. I okay, so I always check. I always do like a little peek. Okay, to so see if they're suss out the vibe. Yeah, yeah, like if they're asleep or if they're. Yeah. I never do it if they have their tray down. So, the way I look at it is. <clears throat> I, I will always give it a little incline because I feel like the seats are so upright. Yeah. So I give it like a little incline, but like there are people out there that literally a like decline, decline, incline, de- decline. Interesting. Recline, recline, recline. Whatever. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, okay, I got it. Got it. You give recline, it a little recline. Yeah. Got it, got I give it, it okay. the tiniest little bit where it's yeah. like it doesn't really affect the person behind me, but it's enough that I'm not like completely Straight 90 up. degrees yeah yeah but i don't think i would on a domestic flight i don't think i would ever like flat like go as far back as i could so international international doing, so quantus yeah because like, there's a we, lot a lot of room there's in, more yeah. room and i feel like everyone's more like because i think what the problem is with domestic flights is sometimes if it's short like you may recline the person behind you might not and it's like a trickle effect. So it's yeah. like if they do, then you have to. And then the person behind has to. But yeah. not everyone's going to want to recline. You know what I hate? What? When we we're, we're, when we fly um, domestically and someone, before the lights go off, before we even take off, someone has already reclined their chair. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And it's so aggressive. They yeah. Just, yeah. They're just, just like, like boom. Well, dang. I know. Like, I didn't even let me get set up first. Like, it's I, too much. I think I had my I, head down I one think time. Everyone and they, needs to have a little bit of a courtesy <clears throat> definitely look. Definitely courtesy. Yeah. And then also, like, vibe out, like, is this a flight to actually recline the mm-hmm. full amount? I think you're okay to recline just a little bit to get rid of the 90, like 95. Yeah. I, this, just, just to kind of build off of this question you had, like, mm-hmm. are you a, uh, well, no, I already know. You're, you are an aisle person yes i my traditional uh, uh mindset so stupid is like you know i want my wife to have the middle seat i'll take the aisle seat yeah know, but as, this is the thing know. we actually we actually had a, a really um a bit we actually bickered about this yeah. on our first because trip to he australia wanted no i wanted the aisle seat so i'll if if we're the only two people in the the aisle well mm-hmm. the the row. Mm-hmm. I don't care where I sit. Okay. But if there is a third person that we do not know. She doesn't want to sit next to I her. don't want to sit in the middle seat. Mm-hmm. I would rather sit in the aisle seat. Well, it, it, does because this have something to do with you being introverted? I, I don't want to be close to someone I don't know. Like, okay, I don't want to smell their smells. <laughs> Got, it. Got it. So, is his that, mentality is... Is that bougie? Is, is that bougie? I don't know. I think that's normal. People... No one wants to... No one really wants to sit next to a stranger. Maybe they do. I'm I don't cool know. I it. definitely don't. I'm fine. So your mentality was like to protect me yeah. by the aisle bandits that come through. Yeah. It's kind of like when we're but, walking on the sidewalk. I'm sitting for a couple of hours next to a stranger. Like make that make sense. I'll make it make sense. No, we don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of like if we're walking, walking on a sidewalk. But it's different. I, really? Yeah. hundred percent. Okay. hundred okay. percent is Got different. It. All right. Fair enough. All right, cool. Well, that wasn't even supposed. That yeah. wasn't even one of anyway. the questions, but okay. I just felt like since we were talking about. Can you see my questions? No, I cannot. Okay, good. I'm far sighted, but I cannot see. Good. D- don't try and look. Okay. I want to give you the element of surprise. Got it. Okay. Talking to your partner in a baby voice. <laughs> normal. <laughs> Is it normal? <laughs> what do you think? Um. Like a. I, I would say it is normal in the privacy of... Yes, I agree. W- yeah. Like out in public, 
<laughs> Could you imagine? Like, oh I wonder if people do that. Um, That's wild. I know uh, a celebrity who calls her husband daddy in public. But that's not like baby boys. That's just like pet names. Oh, okay. That's uh, different. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So the, I don't think you could you go yeah. like that like that okay like, okay like that yeah. no no <laughs> now I'm gonna do it <laughs> oh my god like I think if it was like completely under breath und sorry completely under breath and no one could actually hear you and it was yeah. like kind of like an inside joke of like trying to be funny totally fine whatever but like yeah, mm, yeah no. that is hilarious Not in public. that is that is super funny yeah that is funny. I think talking baby voice is fine. It's playful. Yeah, it is playful. Yeah, that's why I said, you know, in the privacy but of one. Privacy time. of yeah. home. Yeah. But not in public. Okay, We're, we agree on that one. I yeah. heard somebody say something that was so cringe, but I guess it's... In public? It's pet. Yeah. Mm. But that, that falls under the pet name pet category. Names. I yeah. think that that's still the same thing. I don't think I would ever say a pet name in public. Like, I think my pet name, which I don't even think is, is a pet is name, babe. is Babe. Yeah, like, I would okay. say Babe Yeah. in public, but that's... That's as far as I would You go. surprised your your friends in Australia. How so? Brit. Oh. She was like, Babe? Georgia. Oh, me <laughs> saying Babe? <laughs> yeah. okay, I'm going to forget about that. But anyway, anyway. Um, uh, okay, one more. <clears throat> this is kind of like a little wild. I don't know if it's wild. Maybe it would be a little dramatic. <laughs> Doing a poo in a club toilet. In a club toilet? Normal. Listen, I am the type of person, if you got to go, you got to go. In a club? In a club. Like a nightclub? A nightclub. You're doing a poo in the cl- nightclub. No. Hmm. I, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I needed to. But if you needed to, would you? Where else am I going to go? Can't hold it? No. Not I. <laughs> not I. No, no. Listen. There is no way I'd be caught doing that. Well, you wouldn't be caught. You'll be in a stall. You know what I mean. I... I will like I I was at oh this is hilarious okay nah I'm not gonna say it but but yeah a club toilet no yeah okay I think it's normal like if you had okay if I had one too many beers okay and I'm like and I had some you know one too many cheese fries or something like that with <laughs> beer you know that combination yeah I I'd, I'd, I'd go I'd go okay. now I'm thinking of like all the nightclubs we've been to yeah hmm you think it's normal. Oh, you just said you. Were I, there. I feel like it's one of those things that more people have had to do it than we know, but I don't think I would. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if yeah. I had a choice, I would. That my my answer would be no. I would never not, settle to do yeah. that. Yeah, not many people are doing the number two in the nightclub anyway because they're consuming so much alcohol. So it's I feel like it isn't like one. I feel like those two things don't really happen unless something you ate something and sat, didn't sit well or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. It's kind of like the same thing. Like people are like, oh, do you go in public? It's just like if you're at someone's house, do you would you take a number two in someone's house? It depends. I remember. Depends on the circumstances. Yeah, it depends. Like, so I'm I'm always the type of person, if you got to go, you got to go. Yeah. I think un, under the circumstances, but if someone said, oh, are you willing to? Or if you, like, I wouldn't. Yeah, nightclub. That, that, that nightclubs are, are dirty. dirty. Yeah. Now, if, yeah, no, no. If I'm desperate, I, I would. Yeah. I'll but, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all I got for you. All right. Well, those were, those were good. Now, I'm going to get you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get you on the next episode. Cool. Question for you, though. Just, yeah. I guess as we wrap up. Okay. <clears throat> if you could have coffee with any historical figure or... If you could have coffee with any figure, I should say, dead I or the alive. the word historical makes yeah. it sound like they need to be some iconic like George human. Washington yeah. or somebody. That's exactly <laughs> who I think of. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know, man. If, if you could have coffee with any figure, dead or alive... Yes. Um, who would it be? Well, and th- this is our caffeinated question segment. So we need to change that name. Yeah, Paris she was like it. very excited about Adamant that, and about I feel like it's just something not hitting. Okay, okay, we'll get it right. But that this is our this is our segment to to end off the podcast. Yeah, to end off the podcast. But... The Where's My Coffee podcast. Hey, where's my coffee? Um, do you have one? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm going after you though. I know, but like I, I feel like I need to process. I, I didn't think of one. I should have, but I didn't think of one. All right, I'm gonna go Jaden Smith. Oh, that that's a classic. I, I, that was a given. Like I knew you would say that. 
How you know I wouldn't have said like Angelina Jolie? <laughs> I'm just saying. How how do you know I wouldn't have said that? I don't know because or, I feel or, like you'd rather take, pick, to... pick the brain of Jane Smith no, as you're opposed right, to. Right, right. Talk so anything about, about the, coffee. Uh... I feel like coffee chats are like. Yeah. You know? No, I I feel like me and him would have a, a really good car. I I would love to pick his brain. Mm. I would love. I would ask him to because I think um, Sire is a classic alternative uh rap I, album. I wouldn't even know what you um about. definitely classic so i would i would even tell him like just run me through the inspiration of that album mm. um from the music production because i think he i think he used a, uh, an, an orchestra or something like that for yeah. the production of the album or at least some of the songs some of the tracks on there um, pick his brain yeah definitely love to pick his brain and just where he gets his like what is what are his muses, you know? Because um, he's definitely a, a creative inspiration for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that that would be. Yeah. This is really random, and I don't know why this name has come to my head. Is this your pick? Yeah, I think okay. so. But like, it's, it's random, and you're gonna be like, I I don't quite understand Georgia. Okay. Um, Paris Hilton. That is random. Only would... because she <clears throat> just. What is her word? That's hot. Or whatever she says. Like, yeah. she's a genius to an extent with okay. her business management. Of Ex- like, break this, this, guys, this is the first time I've ever heard her you name, even. Well, her name just came Paris to mind because I was just like, who would, who would be an interesting conversation? And I feel like Paris would be, it sounds weird saying her, Paris Hilton. It would be so weird to take her seriously, but like, I feel like she knows what she's doing. Do you know what, what I mean? Like, was she the Kardashian before the Kardashians? Hundred percent. Got it. Like so she's kind of like the mother of, she, of all this. Yeah, like that kind of like building a brand off of personality, mm, that sort of energy. Okay. Dang. Like wow. I feel like because she's like a character in a way. Yeah. But much with respect her, with no, her voice. Know, no, oh no no no! Yeah. I mean, it's genius. But yeah. like I just like down like being able to speak to her in a very like no cameras no nothing and just like how why yeah is this actually you wow. or is there another like is this like kind of like a hannah montana energy moment you know what i mean like yeah. i would it would be kind of it'd be fun i think it would be hard to take her seriously unfortunately why, why do you keep saying because the, her, the, oh, the, oh, the 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 voice the voice oh interesting okay. but i think it would be kind of fun to see what she's like <laughs> Okay, that's it's interesting. It's very random. Yeah. No, but that's interesting though. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I guess to, to end it off on a motivational note. Okay. What's one goal that you have for twenty twenty four? Goal of twenty twenty four. I I feel like this year that we just came out of mm-hmm. we have done a handful of upgrades to our life yes shoot one of the highlights was our new place oh yeah yeah we got a new place yeah yeah you're so right Sheesh. We got a new place i mean we were able to use like we have Second another bedroom. space mm-hmm. to you know have this podcast studio yeah um yeah so we've made a couple upgrades so i think kind of just excelling the ability to continue to do that because mm-hmm. i think since we have like gone completely independent from like parents helping us at all. Yeah. I feel like every what couple of years we've maybe been able to make like certain upgrades, upgrades where it's yeah. living conditions, the car we're driving, the the just, entertainment, the yeah. just you know, just Money spent. life spending, <laughs> budgeting. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like we've been able to consistently make upgrades, upgrades. within like a Elevation. steady pace. Yeah. 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 So I kind of just want 2024 to be another level of that. Um, And I do think we're both in careers to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, This past year, I was put into a salaried position plus commission. Yes, ma'am. Which is exciting. So I'm able to be more consistent, but I also have the ability to, um, what, what's the word? produce more commission so Mm -hmm. knowing that i have control over that to a degree putting more effort into that 
will be kind of like a goal of 2024. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about you? Um, Sorry. Quite, did I just no, no, no. take everything? No, it did, no, not at all. But I feel like, I feel mine like yours is, is different, but it's same, different. Same, but different. Same, but different. It's, yeah. it's to definitely excel in my acting career. Um, my big goal is to be cast as a season regular mm-hmm. role in a TV show, dramatic mm-hmm. um, uh, TV show, and 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 to just have a memorable to play a memorable character that that grows with the audience. Yeah, you know, um, something. I, I guess you're. Uh, like a life changing role, yeah, yeah, yeah a, a leading man. You yeah. know what I mean, and and or, dramatic, or not but... even a leading man, but like a, a, a one of those actors that you're just like, yo, he's he's he killing not, it right now. Yeah, he, he may not be leading mm-hmm. a certain project, but he's like people look a you great up support, and they see who you are. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I just want to be known for great work, mm-hmm. and I just I just want to work. Yeah. I want to work. I want to just excel in my career. Mm-hmm. You know, strike over. Bring in the pilot season. Yeah, for sure. You know, so. No. Um, well, but so. yeah, that's that's our first episode. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. Um, yeah, I, I uh, what can they expect? I don't know. So we'll yeah, just I mean, this feedback, will be. Feedback, see how it goes. Yeah, this will be uh, um, something that you guys can access on YouTube. YouTube, uh, as well Spotify, as, iTunes, yeah. right? We're gonna Apple, be Apple, Spotify, yeah. Amazon. Oh yeah, Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Um, yeah, all platforms. So there'll be visual version audio version Mm -hmm. um so whatever takes your fancy yeah i need to learn the terms of what you do because i know on like youtube you like like and subscribe uh youtube is like comment subscribe but what do you do in podcasts is it you you like podcast follow or you you follow you can subscribe you can share just you know just definitely share support where you can support you know what i mean Um, um but yeah we appreciate you guys yeah, this will be a, us, it's, it's a hobby I mean? right now. Yeah, we'll definitely, see where it goes. And, and that's that's very important yeah. too. It is a hobby. This isn't something like this isn't a career or, no. or uh, you know, but this is just something we found that we love to do. Be creative. We want us to be, yeah. creative. be creative. I think that yeah, yeah that, I think that at the, for you, you've always been able to find creative outlets with your side job. Mm-hmm. For me, I felt like now that I'm not dancing, I was like, there's a creative aspect within what I'm doing mm-hmm. that doesn't exist. Yeah. That's kind of, that was, that was my pitch to Paris when I said I wanted to join the podcast. What was your pitch? I just said it. That I wanted a creative outlet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you yes. were listening. Yeah, no, I, I anyway. blanked out for a minute. Um, you were thinking of what to say next, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, cool. guys, we, we truly appreciate um, tuning coming, in. Yeah, tuning in. Awesome. And we'll definitely see you guys next time. How do we end this? Just like that, I guess. Thank you. Bye. Bye. (laughs) 